Hello, and welcome back to Tech by Pike. Today, we are looking at another mouse. It is from EVGA, and it is called the X17 FPS Gaming Mouse. Let's get into it. Here, we have the EVGA X17 Gaming Mouse. Let's go ahead and open this box up. Before any box open I do, I always cut the tape off because it just takes me way too long to mess with it. I really like the packaging they did for this mouse. It really looks like it's on display and they're trying to show it off through the plastic. So everything that comes in the box for this mouse is the mouse, a little guide pamphlet for you to go through, and then this little black container that actually has weights in it, five weights, all of them are five grams each to a total of 25 grams. The mouse comes in at 103 grams, so it's not a lightweight mouse. I would consider a lightweight mouse probably under 80 to 85 grams. If you put all the weights in there, you're looking at a mouse at about 128 grams. On the side of the mouse, you have three buttons. You have two, well, you have three customizable ones, but one of them is your sniper button, and then the two are just your basic customizable ones where your thumb sits. And then you have your two normal right and left clickers, and then your DPI settings on the top. The max DPI for the mouse is 16,000. And you can have up to five different profiles programmed into your mouse. While using this mouse, I found it very comfortable to use. It fit in my hand perfectly. My thumb felt comfortable next to the buttons. And it was easy to use. My only complaint is the location of the sniper button. In order to use it, I had to adjust my hand to press it. And I felt like that was pretty awkward if you're in a high situation, high stress situation in the game. So there's a couple unique functions about this mouse. The first one is with the DPI settings. You control your DPI by these buttons up here behind the wheel. By pushing them, these little lights show up on the side of the mouse to show you which setting you're currently using. It also has a sniper button right here when you press it, it lowers your DPI setting to 400. So your mouse is gonna move extremely slow for you to be able to get those sick nasty headshots. The next thing with the mouse is that it comes with weights, which is pretty unique. I've never seen it before. A lot of people try and get lightweight mouses, but this one offers you to go from lightweight to significantly heavier. You have a max to go up to 25 grams heavier, five weights, five grams each. Bottom of the mouse opens with a little compartment here. Easier said than done. You have the five slots. This mouse really gives you the option to make it customizable for its weight. You can either add one or all five or none start with its base weight or add 25 grams. It's really about what you find most comfortable while using it. Maybe one day, try with it all, take them off one at a time, see which one you like best. Let's go ahead and look at the RGB for the mouse. It has four lights. You have two in the front, one around the wheel well, and then you have the E in the very back. I think the two lights in the front are pretty unique, like a lot of things on this mouse. It looks like they're headlights for a car. The lights seem to just do a rainbow effect of different colors. We appreciate everyone who's watched our videos and liked them. Please subscribe and have a good day.
Thank you. Careful, they're gonna hear that. You see them? Yeah, one dead. I'm peeking that window. Okay. Yeah. Killed. I hit one. Get him. Get him. Up. He's hurt. He's hurt bad. He's reloading. He's dead. I think. 